Yo, what's going on everyone? We're back from here bringing another episode of the Detroit Pistons My League. And in today's video, we are going to be getting into some games and we are also going to be trying to get these guys up and going. As y'all saw in the last video, Dante DiVincenzo has not been doing well. He's shooting, uh, where is it at? I think he's shooting, I guess he's shooting 0% from the three-point line and 16%, not even 16, like, I'll give it 17, man. 17% 17 from the field, man. And he has four turnovers a game. But he is getting four steals a game, too. So he is playing good defense. But he's just doing so bad, man. It's crazy. But if you're new to the channel, guys, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And let's hop into this, man. So I didn't know Dante DiVincenzo was traded to Toronto. But, and he didn't even do anything in Toronto either. He couldn't shoot the three ball. Uh, I hope he can shoot on 2K, man. I really do. But we are going to be sending through some games. But right now in the power, like we already went to the power rankings last video, and if we look at the stats during the first two games, man, um, if I could look for the stats, man, player stats, we do have Bobo leading us with 26 points a game, nine rebounds, four blocks a game. This is only two games, though, guys. You gotta remember, it's only during two games, but four blocks a game and 26 points, and then James Wiseman 24 and eight and three assists and a block a game. Our big men are out there, man, doing what they need to do for us. Thumb makers averaging 10. Y'all do remember that we did send the rookie center down to the G League just because we kind of failed on that pick, but I feel like if we progress and we could do better. So I guess our win didn't count versus the Spurs. I know y'all saw in the last video we did get the win versus the Spurs, but I guess it didn't save it. And so hopefully we do get the win still. So we do get the win and we do get the win versus the Raptors, man. I do want to uh, simulate some simcast. We are sitting at 3-1 right now, so it looks like we, will, we are off to a hot start as we do end up losing to the Cavs and the and the Bucks, man, and the Bulls. So I guess that hot start really just vanished. We are we're on a five game losing streak, guys. We do give a win over the Rockets, so um, I, I think this team could go 41 and 41, but like you can't be losing to the Knicks, man. Like you cannot get blown out by the Knicks. Like Bobo's doing his thing, Dante DiVincenzo's finally hitting. Yeah, he's finally doing better, man. 36, 37% from the field and 30% from the three point line. That's not too bad, but we still gotta do better, man. Um. We will simulate Simcast to this, and if we can get, um, if we can make it close, we will hop in this game. So far, it is a close game. It's going back and forth. They're up six. Um, yeah, they got this one, man. Can we, I don't think we'll get to Celtics. Let's simulate again versus the Pacers. Like, we started off really hot, man, and now we're not doing so hot. We lost by one point to the Celtics. Like, those are the games you gotta win, man. These are the games we gotta win. And this game is going kind of back and forth as well. And we will take it down a bit just to see. We'll, we'll hop in around like the three minute mark if it's if they can stay in the game, man. And it looks like they're not going to. Um, early down, early down six. So I'll hop into the game right here at the four minute mark and we'll see y'all once we're in the game. So we're here and I don't know who's shooting free. I think that's Aaron Gordon. Aaron Gordon is shooting free throws, man. So hopefully he can miss this one, man. Because we we kind we gotta get on this roll, man. We gotta start winning. And right now, it doesn't look like it is. So we got Dante DiVincenzo out there, along with Christian Wood, um, Ball Ball, James Wiseman, and I think that's the point guard Boone. So we are a tall lineup out there. They're trying to go to Ball Ball in the post against Miles Turner. Let's see if Ball Ball can get something going, man. And he tried to. That was just terrible, man. We gotta get something going, man. We got four seconds. Dante DiVincenzo's gonna have to force it, man. A step back three for DiVincenzo is gonna be off. You already knew that was off. How it was contested, man. Um, I don't know, man. I, li I like how this team is built. I would just like to have more, um, more consistency from this team. They are a young team. You gotta remember, we are young. And that's a good defensive possession right there by Bobo and Boone. We're down eight points, man. We still got about four minutes, which isn't too bad. Three-point contest rate, we have no one in it, so don't need to worry about that. Didn't it just say, I thought it said uh, Pistons ball, but I guess it was Pacers. Good defense, and he missed Bobo with the board. Come on, we got to push it. Why is Bobo dribbling, man? I know he could dribble, but come on, man, pass it. He had Demon Chenzo open, man. Wiseman with the midi, and that's off. We're just around the four minute mark, man. We gotta get something going, we have to. Like, this team is good, man, but we're just not putting that potential up there. Like, 
Good block by Bobo, man. Bobo's out here. Throw it up to Wiseman. What is he doing? If D. Vincenzo doesn't make... What was Bobo doing? That was a great block, but he's holding the ball too long, man. Like, he could have thrown that to Wiseman. We could have got at least two points right there. I like the potential Bobo brings to the team, man, but we got to get that playmaking better. Like, Christian Wood should have seen that, man. We're down 10 with three minutes, and... It looks like we're about to take another L, man. We were off to a great start, 3-1. and one. I know it's only four games, but we lost like five straight, six straight. I don't know, man. Give it to Bobo, man. Do something in the post. What was that? Bobo's out here just throwing shit up, man. Like, 3 for 14, he's having a bad offensive game, man. Yeah, he's not going to always be out there consistently getting 26 a night, but... If you're having a bad game, you got to go elsewhere, man. That's a mismatch. Good double team. Please miss it. And they do miss it. We still have a slim chance that we can get something going. He finally passed it up to DiVincenzo. Good dunk. So we're down eight. Two and a half minutes to go. We have to get, We can't let them score again. If they score, that's pretty much GG's, man. I, I do like how we have the tall lineup out there with Christian Wood. But I think they're about to bring uh, Seiko Dumia back in. I'd rather have Christian Wood than Seiko Dumia out there at this point. But right now, man, it's looking like we're about to take another L. Do I like taking L's? Of course not. No one likes to take L's, even if it's on an offline mode. You're trying to get this team back to contention, man. We let Aaron Gordon drop 26 on us? That's terrible, man. Come on, we gotta, we gotta start double teaming. That was a bad switch. He shouldn't have switched on that, but James Wiseman does play good defense. Good steal by Devin Chenzo. Throw it, let's go. That's what Bobo's supposed to do, man. Throw it up like that. Get it out of your hands quick. We're down six with two minutes still, man. Just a couple more stops. Maybe we can get this game to overtime. Maybe we hit a game winner. Who knows? Um, but good defense by DiVincenzo. Don't back up, man. Like, you gave him so much. Oh, good help by Bobo. DiVincenzo gave him so much room by backing up off that. But that was great defense by Bobo. Like, Bobo has, like, one block. I don't know how many blocks he has. Probably has like four blocks this game. They have nine seconds. No fouls, man. Please do not foul. I, I beg you, no fouls. Do not bail them out. And we got... I just don't like Jordan Boone's defense. He's a good offensive player, but... They're going to run this trap around for Oladipo, and he's wide open, man. He missed it, though. Let's go. Come on, throw it to Wiseman. Oh, my God, man. Like, Bobo, what is he doing, man? That's twice he's missed Wiseman. Look, and the Oladipo does a oop. Like, do you not see what? I, th I kind of want to blame Bobo for this, but he did do his, his part on the defensive side. He just, he just wouldn't throw the ball up, man. Like, he just had a bad outing, man. Uh, we did lose this game, so I'll probably just simcast the rest. Um after this possession. It depends what we do on our next offensive possession. There is only a minute left. It's kind of frustrating. Bobo with another block. No, that's a good steal by Jordan Boone, but you see what I mean? How he gets it up to Dante DiVincenzo, but he got blocked, man. Yeah, we're just gonna send the rest. Sim was Simcast and continue simulating and we lost. And the box score was terrible, man. Um, we could look at the box score. James Wiseman did have 21 and eight for us. DiVincenzo 16 and five and seven. Seiko Dumi had 16, but ball ball, man. 7, 9. He did have 4 blocks, but 3 for 16. 1 for 4 from the 3-point line, man. That's just terrible. That's just really terrible, man. I do want to sim a couple more games before we end this. And I do want to go around the league, see what's happening around the league. I know y'all like to see what's around the league. And look at the prospect scouting and stuff. So we are going to simulate to... We'll simulate to the Lakers game. We do got to get some wins, man. Like... We're five and ten right now. We're five games below five hundred, six and ten. We got we can't be like winning we can't win two games, lose two games, you know? It's pointless. You gotta win, win, and win. But I feel like this team is still too young to be competing, man. What let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Is this team ready to compete? Is it if y'all don't think it is, should we make a move to help us get better? Should we upgrade the point guard position? Cause right now we're seven and fifteen, man. 7 and 15. I thought I stopped it right there. We're 7 and 16. Let's look at the stats after what? 20 something games. 
23 games, I believe. So, if we go to player stats, what is Jordan Boone doing? Like, Bobo's still averaging 27 and 10 and two and a half blocks, but he is shooting 50% from the field, 46% from the three point line. So, Bobo's doing his thing, man. We got James Wiseman. Like, what is Boone doing? Nine points. Nine points and 39% from the field. We kind of do need to upgrade that point guard position, I think. We could be a better off contending. So if we look at the free agents, is there a point guard out here? Should we bring Chris Dunn back to the team, man? Should we get Chris Dunn to be our point guard? Let me know if we should get Chris Dunn in the comment section or let me know if we should honestly go out and get Trey for a point guard. Like, if we go to upcoming free agents and we look at point guards, like, could we potentially get one of these guys that are upcoming that teams probably would look to unload their contract like a Bledsoe, Terry Rozier, John Wall maybe. Probably not John Wall, he is making too much money. And what about if we go, I don't know how to look at um, the trade block, like, I don't know if you can, I wish you could see something where like other teams put players on the trade block. That would be cool man, but a player for our target list that I really would like to get for the point guard position it would they tried to go on Dragic back over here. I guess they traded Dragic. They got too many point guards over here. They want to trade DeJounte, I don't think he, just yet. Um Maybe we can get a Patrick Beverly to come for a year. Ricky Rubio. It just depends, man. Alfred Payton, I really wouldn't want. Chris Paul. We could get Chris Paul for two years, maybe. He could help compete get this team competing. We will put Chris Paul there, but I also want to see on the trade block real quick if we just look. Um, what could we get for um? Because we do have some bench players, but I just don't really like them. Like, if I throw Luke Kennard up there, because I would like to get Bruce Brown. If I throw Luke Kennard and maybe maybe Myers Leonard and a future a twenty twenty four Grizzlies first, because we don't know. If the Grizzlies will be good. The Grizzlies will probably be good competing. Could we get like some type of point guard? Chris Boucher and Duncan Robinson would not. It's not a point guard, but that wouldn't be bad. Gary Trent Jr. Lonnie Walker. Maybe we could put Lonnie Walker at the point guard. Steven Adams, Malik Beasley. Aaron Holiday could be our point guard. Devontae Graham. Ooh. Devontae Graham could be the point guard. Uh, Other than that, man, that's the only point guard that they really offer was Devontae Graham and... Aaron Holiday. So let me know down in the comment section if we should get one of these trades, if we should get Devontae Graham or Aaron Holiday. Aaron Holiday was averaging seven points and only three assists. But how many minutes is he playing a night? He is only playing about, he's have started zero games. And I forget, the minutes are up here in the front. They used to be up here in the front. I don't know, we can go check. And then Devontae Graham is averaging 16 for Toronto and seven assists. So let's go look at uh, what they're averaging real quick, how many minutes they're playing, because I know they're not playing that many. So if we go to the Raptors where Devontae Graham is and the Pacers, I guess it doesn't say how many minutes they're playing. Yeah, minutes. So Devontae, uh, Aaron Holiday's only playing 18 minutes a night. So if you look at his per 36 minutes, he'd be averaging 15 and six assists. And then if we go to the Raptors with Devontae Graham, Devontae Graham is literally averaging about... Devontae Graham is playing 30 minutes a night, so these are pretty much what he'd be averaging for us. It's a 16 points. So let me go down in the comment section. We should get one of those guys, man. And we are going to be looking at the scouting report real quick, the prospect scouting. We do need a point guard, man. That is what we need. So we are scouting point guards, which is good. And shooting guards, not too many. I forgot what draft class this was, man. Um, I'll have to look it up what draft class I put here. Uh, I think this is a 2023. We'll just look at the pick, actually. I'm dumb. So if I look at the draft pick that we have upcoming, if we just go to Trey Finder and pick, this is a 2023 draft, so we do have a little bit more time ahead, but around the league, man, we can look at people leading the league and scoring and stuff real quick, and then that's going to end the video. So if we look at the league leaders, you got Giannis on the Lakers leading them in points. And then rebounds per game is Giannis. That's crazy, man. Giannis is leading it in rebounds too. Oh, rebounds, yeah. 16 rebounds for Giannis, man. That's crazy. And then assists go to John Morant and this rookie from the Lakers. Wow. And then Lonzo Ball's in Milwaukee. There's a lot of stuff that went around. LaMelo went to the Jazz. 
Steals per game goes to Kawhi with two. And then blocks per game should be us with Bobo. It's still well and be with three blocks a game and then Bobo with two and a half, 2.2 and then uh, Bam out of with 2.2. And then turnovers per game goes to Drummond with three, Kyrie Irving with three. And field goals uh, may, nah, that's not really that important. Free, uh, field goal percentage is going to go to the centers, man, because they just be dunking the ball mostly on Ben Simmons, of course. And then who leads the league in three-point percentage? It goes Duncan Robinson with 53%, and then Buddy Hill 53%. He got traded to Brooklyn. A lot of trades have gone down, man. We should look around the league and see who's on teams. I'll probably do that in my next video. Who leads the NBA in field goal? We already went field goal. And then free throw percentage is probably about the last one, and it's LaMelo Ball. I was about to say Lonzo Ball free throw really went up. LaMelo's pretty much shooting 98% from the free throw line. And TJ Warren is 97, and Devin Booker, and then here's the rest y'all wanna look. It's not too bad, that's the top 10. But that is gonna end the video, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new. Comment down below if we should make one of those trades for Devontae Graham, or sign Chris Dunn, or get Aaron Holiday, and just keep Luke, or we should keep Luke Kennard. But I'm out, guys. Hope you all enjoy it. Peace.